Okay, let's do this 2022 AMC 12A problem 16. A triangular number is a positive integer that can be expressed in the form t sub n equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to n. Basically, the sum of an arithmetic series from 1 to n where you're counting the positive integers. For some positive integer n, uh, you should know already coming in that the sum of those numbers, this should be memorized, is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. You can also use arithmetic series sum to name that as well. The three smallest triangular numbers that are also perfect squares are t sub 1 equals 1, which is 1 squared, t sub 8. Let's go ahead and drop 8 in here. 8 times 9 over 2, 36, 6 squared, and t sub 49, which ends up being 35 squared. What is the sum of the digits of the fourth smallest triangular number? We're not talking this term. We're talking the 36 or the 1 or the 12, 25. Those are the actual triangular numbers. So we're going for the fourth smallest one that is also a perfect square like those three are. Um, you could try to set this equal to like x squared or something and play around with that. You won't probably get too far, at least I don't think. Maybe you could do x squared. You, know, you can have 2x squared minus n squared. I don't know. I don't see a, a nice path that way. So what you might do then is, okay, well, where do we go? If we can't do anything with that, well, let's give you go inspect these numbers. What? Why does 8 produce 36 precisely? Let's look at what's happening. So we're trying to explore. You don't know. You're tinkering, right? The whole point of these problems is there's a little difficulty up front. So you're going to get 8 times 9, and you have to think. You have to explore. Figure out. You're in the dark. Just start flipping some switches. Check some things, right? So what happens here? Oh, that number is a perfect square. And when I divide this one into the even numbers, there's going to be one even and one odd every time because they're consecutive integers. The even one must be that when I divide it by 2, it, the result is a perfect square. And the other number is already a perfect square, the odd. And so we get a perfect square times a perfect square. Of course, let's verify that that works with 49. If I do 49 times 50, uh, then we're going to be able to divide by 2, and sure enough, the uh, even cuts in half to a perfect square, and there's 49. So the odd, I'm going to focus my attention on that odd perfect square. We already know it has to be after 49 and that 7 squared, so let's go to 9 squared is 81. In order to use 81 with triangular numbers, it's either going to be the n or the n plus 1. So I'll either have 81 times 82 or 81 times 80. And you're looking for an even number that when I cut it in half, I get a perfect square. But 40 and 41 don't have that property. So then we're going to go ahead and go up to the next one squared, which is 11 squared, 121, 122, cut in half, 61, 120, cut in half, 60. Those aren't perfect squares. We go to 169. Once you've got the feel for it right, you smell blood in the water, you're just going in as quick as you can. 170 cut in half, no. 168 cut in half, 84, not going to work. It's not actually three in a row, but I don't want to write the 81 two separate times. That's wasting time. So I'm just, I'm grouping these on one side and grouping those on the other. So uh, 170 cut in half, 85, no. Let's go to 17 squared or 15 squared. Uh, 15 squared is 225, and then you're going to have 226 to get 113, 224 to get 112, neither works. Let's go ahead and do 17 squared, 289, 290, 288. When you see that 288, you should get excited. That's 2 times 144. After you divide by 2 on this one, you're going to get 144, which is going to be 12 squared times 17 squared. Uh, I think for me, what I'll do is I'm just going to do um, 12 times 10 plus 7 like this. And I'm going to have the squared outside. 
So I get 120 plus 84. 120 plus 84 is going to be 204. And we're squaring that number. So I'll write it as 200 plus 4 squared. That's going to give me 400 zero, zero with two more zeros, 40,000. This times this is 800. Doubled is 1,600. 4 squared, 16. Add it to the end. The final number, 41616. No, I want to say 16 plus 16. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus another 7, 14, plus 4, 18. Answer, choice D. Kind of a fun problem. Let's go ahead and do 17.